QLC Plus web interface. So QLC Plus software has a built-in web interface which allows you to display parts of the program on your smartphone or tablet. So this saves you the trouble of having to design an interface on something like Touch OSC or a program like that. Now there are some limits to it. If you'd like to learn more about it, when you have your QLC Plus program up and running, click on the Help button in the menu and look under Advanced and select Web Interface. And there's a discussion here of exactly how the web interface works. Please note down the bottom that there are some limitations to the program. There are some widgets in the Virtual Console that do not work in web interface mode yet. However, I think that you might find this useful in some respects because it's built into the program so you don't have to go through the hassle of downloading a third-party program and designing an interface. It's quite useful the way that it is and you'd be able to access some lights it would be possible to run a queue list from your phone or your tablet even though the computer with QLC Plus is located in a different area. You just have to make sure that the computer and your smart device are on the same wireless network. There are directions in here to show you how to get the web interface to work. I'm going to very quickly on a Windows PC show you how that procedure would work. First of all, I've got to find my QLC program. So I'm going to go to my Explorer, and usually the QLC program is in your root drive, in my case my C drive, you can see QLC Plus. I'm going to open the folder. Here's the program. I'm going to select it, right click, and say Create Shortcut. So now I have a shortcut created, and then I'm going to simply drop that shortcut on my desktop here. Here's my shortcut that I created. In the shortcut, right click, Click on Properties. Here is the target, so it's C Drive, QLC Plus, QLP Plus dot EXE. Simply type space hyphen W, click Apply, and OK. Now, when I double click this to open the program, it will be in web interface mode. The next step I would have to do then is on my smartphone or tablet, Open your web browser, and you need the address of the computer that's running the QLC software. So in my case, my computer address is 10.0.0.30. Then type in colon 9999 for the port, and then the display will come up. Make sure that your phone and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network in order to do this. So you can see here, this is a picture of my Android phone screen and I'm in landscape mode currently. And you can see that my screen up here is projected onto the Android phone. The program basically will display the virtual console and a couple other helpful parts. It will not display your fixtures page or your functions page or your shows page. It simply does the virtual console. What you need to do is design your virtual console page so that it looks good on your smartphone or your tablet. As you can see here, it is displayed, but there's a lot of empty space. And I can access things by pinching and zooming. So if I go into run mode here, I go back to my phone, I can pinch and zoom around and move around and access buttons. So as you see, I just selected scene one here and scene one came up over here. And I could go to scene two. So I'm actually able to access scenes through that. The Intensity Master, I can move, although you'll notice here that it's a rotating knob and they only display sliders and not knobs. So it is there. And as you can see, as I move it, it is affecting the Intensity Master over here. Also, you'll notice that I do have a queue list up and running here. And so I can select this on my smartphone also. Again, as you can see, you want to do some design changes because we don't have this white space, we have black space here. But I am able to run the queue list. So on my Android phone, I'm going to click the Start button. And you can see that the queues have started. And then I'm going to click Next to proceed to the next queue. So it is possible to run a queue list on here. 
As I said, I will do a separate tutorial to show you how to maximize or make this look good on your smart device, whether it's a phone or a tablet, and I'll have some advice on the best way to do that. Now, interestingly enough, there are some things built in to the software that only display on the phone. For example, up here, you will see a button that says Simple Desk. If I tap on that, my phone, it actually brings up the Simple Desk and DMX addresses 1 through 33 in this case. So I can actually turn on lights using this. I can move faders up. I just need to know the DMX address of what I'm trying to change. Besides lights, this could be other qualities of the fixture, such as color changes or gobo changes, etc., etc. You'd be able to access that from the simple desk. And you simply move through the DMX addresses. Right now, I'm displaying addresses 1 through 33. If up at the top here, I click on the right arrow, now it goes to page 2 of my DMX addresses, and I'm showing 33 through 64. So you're actually able to go through and change DMX values, activate lights, move gobos, change colors, etc., etc. So this would be very handy if you're trying to focus things on the stage. Now, another interesting thing is once I access that desk, another keypad comes up the top here that says DMX keypad. And if I touch that, and I'm going to rotate my phone to portrait mode, this probably will look very familiar to a lot of you. This looks like the remote that used to be included with a lot of the ETC desks. That's exactly what this is. It's like a focus remote. I will go over how to use this in another tutorial. But this would be very helpful because you could have your phone in your back pocket and turn lights on and off at a certain intensity just to be able to do all your focusing rather than carrying your computer around or telling somebody, okay, show me lights such and such. You can access the DMX addresses from here and turn lights off and on so that you could focus them. I'm going to flip my phone back to landscape mode here so you can see that. And just to show you too, it will display multiple pages. There's another page. So this is quite a complex setup here in this QLC setup, but it does display that on the phone too. I'm going to do one tutorial about how to design a nice virtual console setup that will look good on your phone or your tablet. And then I'll also go over that DMX desk and how to use that feature of the web interface.